Holder. Let's listen in. Just last night. I want to be very clear here. I unequivocally condemn these repugnant attacks. I know that all of us in the law enforcement family and all Americans are really across the country are praying for the safe recovery of their, those two officers. And I stand ready to offer the full investigative resources of the United States Department of Justice, the FBI, uh, to solve this crime and to hold these perpetrators um, fully, fully accountable. You know, my brother is a retired law enforcement officer, and uh, he always tells me that uh, cops have the right, you know, to come home at night. You know, and uh, that's exactly right. These are people who protect us, who keep us safe, and they have the right. They have the right to come home um, at night. Um, you know, seeing this attack last night really kind of turned my stomach because in. The last week since the Justice Department released its pattern and practice report on Ferguson, I thought we'd begun to see really important signs of progress. They were, um, were good faith steps being taken within the city's leadership to move in a new, uh, more cooperative direction that I think is beneficial to law enforcement and to community residents. Um, but make no mistake, we still have, you know, we still have a long way to go to bring about the systemic change that is needed and that is long overdue in that area. But I think the early indications have really uh, truly been have been positive, but what happened last night was um, was a pure ambush. What happened last night was a pure uh, ambush. Uh, this was not someone trying to bring healing to Ferguson. Uh, this was this was a damn punk, punk, who was uh, trying to sow discord in an area that is trying to uh, get its act together and trying to bring together a community that has been fractured for too long. This really um, disgusting and cowardly attack might have been intended to unravel any sense of progress that exists, but I hope that that does not in fact happen. Incidents like the one we have witnessed throw into sharp relief why, you know, conversations like the one that we've convened today and that we're going to be having uh, to build trust between law enforcement and the communities that uh, they serve are really so important. A year ago, the Obama